Hello everybody, uh, this is a quick tutorial on um, how I paint the wooden leather on shields. Um, as you can see I've already base coated um, the back of my shield and the leather with a uh, medium flesh. Here yeah, from Vallejo, it's like a yellowy brown. Any type of yellowy brown is going to do it for you. The um, reason that I'm using the yellow, I've seen some, some videos already on YouTube where people have been using white as a base coat. The uh, reason I'm using this sort of uh, medium fleshy yellow type thing is because when I highlight up wood, um, leather, that sort of thing, um, the highest highlight that I'm going to hit yeah, is going to be something like that. Yeah, that, that's going to be sort of the highest that I'm going to want to go. Yeah, if I'm highlighting leather. So, what you got to remember is when you're, you're using ink washes, um, basically your base coat is going to turn out to be your highlight. And you're going to use your ink to shade down your highlight. So if you want your highlights to be a little bit lighter, then obviously you're going to use a lighter shade of paint as your base coat. Right, okay, with that in mind, that's the first bit. The next bit that I did was I pre-lined the other side of the shield, yeah, with Vallejo smoke. Yeah, I'll use that for my lining. Um, all I've done is just go around the shield rim, around the shield boss, yeah. Nothing spectacular, just, just to put my line in there. I'm going to be coming back to that a bit later anyway. Alright, so we got to that point. Bear with me a second while I line up some more rings. Okay guys, I'm back. Right, for the next phase, um, we're going to be mixing up a wood shade. Now what I've done is I've laid the shields flat. Yeah, reason being, if you have them sort of upright, then obviously the ink's going to run down and it's all going to pull down one one part one part of it sort of down the bottom if you've got it like that then it's all going to run down the bottom so i've laid it flat yeah nice and straightforward now what we're going to do um we're going to have some of this scale color intense wood or ink tense wood some sepia shade and some fug and orange all right now if you use just this on its own yeah, um, it's going to dry glossy. Yeah, I've used it quite a few times. And it dries glossy. So, yeah, I'll bang a drop of sepia in it. Uh, the reason I've got the orange... Yeah, I've transferred it to this drop of butter, by the way. The reason I've got the orange is sometimes um, that dries a little... Well, that comes out a little bit dark. Yeah, and I like my wood to look slightly orangey. Yeah? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have say i don't know let's go for a drop of that maybe two drops of that uh, we'll have two drops of each and yeah, two drops of the sepia and two drops of the orange So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix those three together. Let's get that down there so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so we're going to mix those three together. Yeah, and you can see that it's gone sort of a, an orangey brown wash there. Yeah, which is quite nice. And then what we'll do is we'll get our shields. Yeah, get quite a bit on your brush yeah, and then just flood the center area obviously let the ink sink down into the cracks and the crevices get it in there yep that's right guys i'm painting while i'm on my phone so yeah, it's not going to look neat, it's not going to look tidy, but you'll get the idea. Spin that around, so you can see what I'm doing. Now, 
usually I'd be a little bit more careful and I'd go around the edges sort of carefully trying not to go over the rim of the shield which is going to be leather as opposed to wood but it doesn't matter I mean I can touch that up at the end <laughs> so look really easy guys flood it move the ink about how you want it to move about and have a look and see what that's looking like yep that'll do okay right i'm gonna let that dry and then uh we'll come back to it in a minute and we'll see if it needs another shade see you in a minute right guys back again uh shields are dry now uh what i ended up doing was um the parts of the wood in the middle the bands there uh as the ink was drying i i sort of got a bit from the middle where the shield boss is where there was still lots of ink pooling and i dragged it across those a few times just to darken it up a little bit on the wood other than that the wood just dried as i left it to be honest nothing spectacular but the, the effect is really good yeah no, it looks like wood <laughs> still a little bit glossy but once you've uh, varnished that all that gloss will be going away and it will look it'll look even better right the next thing that we're going to be working on is going to be the actual rims of the shield yeah and for that it doesn't get any easier you're just going to be using um Vallejo sepia shade let's drag it into the view there that's all you're going to be doing yeah, that a couple of washes over the top of that medium flesh tone and uh, the job's a good one what I'll do is I'll quickly wash it and then um, I'll come back once that's dried and I'll show you the next phase speak to you soon okay guys leather effect is dry all that was was a couple of washes of just pure sepia uh, for some reason it's looking very similar to the wood uh, on my camera but believe it or not there is a big difference between that shade and the wood shade uh, as a last um, phase that i've done is once the two washes are dry around the rim i've just dotted in the nails with a last piece of sepia um, just the nails themselves and then what that will do is make them more prominent put a little bit of area of shade around them and when I come to actually paint them in which is one of the last things that I do paint the nails in um, that little area of shade around them make them more prominent make them stand out so that you can see them better but anyway that's how far I've got so far the next stage is for me to paint the front of the shield uh, in white give it a coat of white so that when the transfer goes on uh, basically all the details on the transfer uh, it gives it a white background and uh, it, it makes it stand out more anyway that's the next stage i'll show you what it looks like when i've done it back in a minute okay guys right what i've done now is i've basically base coated the front of the shield white and I've gone up to the line and sort of cut it in right up to the edge. Um, I've also painted the shield boss um, a silver metallic colour. Right, I'm going to put some transfers on. I'll speak to you in a bit. Okay guys, it's pretty much done now. Uh, as you can see, I've stuck the transfers on. Um, washed the actual shield bosses themselves in just an army paint the dark tone. Yeah, so that, that sinks into the cracks and crevices and gives you a little bit of definition there um, I've dotted in the nails yeah just with like a silver so you can see them um, I've gone around the outside of the shield rim with just a, a, a line of the Vallejo smoke that I was using for my lining and yeah this is how they've come out you use the uh, little big man studios shield transfers they're nice and straightforward to use stuck them on um, show you the back and how the wood looks yeah quite 
problems with that. You know, it's nothing difficult that anybody could really do, to be honest. Now, when you come to chop them off the sprues, yeah, all you're going to do is just chop them off, and then it's going to be a dot where they've come off the sprues of the um, Vallejo medium flesh. A couple of, well, let that dry, and then give it a couple of dots of um, the sepia shade from Vallejo so that it blends in with the shield rim. And then that is going to be your shield done. Stick it to your stick it to your figure. And then yeah, that's how they're going to look. Um, if you want to weather it up, you can do. I mean, on certain shields, I do weather them up. Sort of uh, imagine where the bottom's going to be, so it'd be like sort of that way round for this one. You know, and then just use sort of. Uh, um, I just use army paint the gold. Um, me or the strong tone to weather them up. But these ones don't really need it, to be honest. They only really look like they're quite weathered. But yeah, I hope this technique proves useful for you. Yeah, by all means, leave me a comment if you like it. I'm going to be doing some more tutorials soon. Um, it's going to be easier when I get a video camera, because at the moment, as you can see, I'm doing it on my phone. And it's not exactly ideal. But, uh, yeah, nice easy wood technique, guys. If, like I say, it's useful to you, then by all means, give me a thumbs up, give me a shout. Say hello, say yes, please, that works. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, I hope to hear from you, and um, I'll speak to you soon, and when I put my next video up. Take care. Bye-bye.